We not only get to kick off week three of the USFL season with the best matchup of the year so far, we get to do it on a beautiful day here in Birmingham. Sunshine, blue skies, temperatures in the mid-70s. New Orleans needed comebacks late in the fourth quarter in each of the last two games. We are underway. Week three of the USFL season. Deion Kane from the 17-yard line. Little gap across the 35-40. He's got a chance. Far sideline, 30-20. He won't be caught. Touchdown, Birmingham. Special teams has been an issue. They actually started the season with a long return. And well, we heard John D. Filippo, the head coach for New Orleans, talking about a fast start in all three phases. This is Deion Kane untouched from his own 17 into the end zone. He scored. You notice the kickoff from the 20-yard line. The league wants returns. They were over 80% last year. They moved it back five yards. They'd like it over 90% this year. Eli Stove. See if he can return the favor across the 40 and 45 and shoved out of bounds. McLeod Bethel Thompson at quarterback was the leading passer in the CFL last fall playing for Toronto. He enters week three as the leading passer here in the USFL. This time floats one down the middle. Perfect pass. Touchdown New Orleans. Lee Morris. 40 yard touchdown. He's getting all the attention. We all know about it. Lee Morris runs right down the middle of the field, splitting the safeties for the touchdown. Well, he has become Mr. Big Play. 34-yard catch last week that set helps you settle in a little bit as an offense. He gets the ball out of his hands there and gets a completion on first down. Well, we're in NFL Draft Weekend, thinking about the draft. Seattle Seahawks have taken one quarterback since drafting Russell Wilson in 2012. Ready, set! Keeps it himself this time. Now he's going to throw it out wide. And room down the sideline is Davian Davis. Good cutback. Keeps his feet. And another cutback. And Birmingham will have first and goal from inside the 10. Brandon Aubrey now to attempt a field goal. Right hash, 25 yards out. Has an extra point. Now has a 25-yard field goal. You hear Birmingham talk about it's just another game and going 1-0. and And you hear New Orleans talk about the emphasis of how big this is. West Hills, daylight off the right side. Wasn't ways you can recognize a veteran quarterback. And back to Hills. Good cutback. More space up the middle. And leaps across the 20 to the 16-yard line. West Hills. Easy touchdown, breakers. Emotion down there on the field and you know you see here you get all the tight ends out on the field You bring an extra offense alignment in so the backup quarterback is Jalen Morton 6'4 225 at a Prairie View A&M CJ Marable remains the tailback and Morton keeps it himself cuts it back on the 30 and he's hit hard as well out to the 33 yard line to bring up third down tackled by Greg Eisworth so Jalen Morton Faces his first third down, nice pocket, crashes in on him, and down he goes. Pocket didn't remain nice for long. Third down and nine for Bethel Thompson. Five man rush, completes, and that's the top receiver in the league in the form of a tight end, Sage Surratt out to the 29 yard line. Did the same thing. The two guys being on the same page, you can tell they've worked it throughout the first three weeks. Play action, another perfect strike. Dixon on the receiving end of that one from four man rush pumps comes back to the other side first down New Orleans empty backfield four man rush eyes still downfield back over the middle athletic strike for the first down looking for their first touchdown another double pump back over the middle intercepted Breakers pick it off to the 30 and 25 yard line. Yes, On the Birmingham Stallion side, have to see if this ball got tipped or not. Nope, just threw it right to him. And Jared Fernandez is there, makes a, makes a great play on the ball. And here we are with the New Orleans Breakers. Excellent field position. Michigan State's all-time leading score, Knuckler right down the middle already. And a name we haven't mentioned yet, Jay Sternberger. He's got to come up big. Out wide, too low and incomplete. He's tagging Sacerat in the play. All oh, ball tipped in the air. Intercepted at the 27. 
batted at the line of scrimmage, and that could be the break the Stallions needed. Unfortunately, a little bit of miscommunication there. They don't know, am I over, are you over? And that's really where McLeod Bethel Thompson would like to go with the ball. Gets hit as he's trying to deliver the football over the middle field. And this drive only three out of nine. Play action. Good step up. On the move toward the end zone. Complete. And was the ball caught and then fumbled? Let's see what the call is. Ever play call the direction was, we're now going the opposite. CJ Marable goes opposite and goes into the end zone. The option to go to a favorable look, he can decide, are they overloading one side or the other? Clearly they had a run call. See how he responds. Boats one deep down the middle, jump ball. Won by the breakers. D. Anderson goes up to get it. We call Bethel Thompson kill kill. It doesn't mean anything. Sets up to the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. D. Anderson from 19 yards out. Delivers the post over the top to D. Anderson for the touchdown. This is a staple 12 personnel play for John D. Filippo. Boy, Nate Brooks, the corner for Birmingham, just got stuck on that break. D. Anderson. Left him five yards behind. That was pitch and catch. Ready, set. Fake it to Marable. Sideline, and there's the first catch for his top tight end, Jay Sternberger. Ready, set. Comes back to the middle. Touchdown, Stallions. Jay Sternberger, 19 yards out. For the Birmingham Stallions. Savvy move there by Magoo because he wanted to go outside. Came back inside there, Kyle, and hooked up the tight end. Sternberger quiet in the first quarter. This is his second catch of the day. Can't throw it much better than that. Hey, son. Looking for him to find one of his guys killed to the run. Well, they go to the run when they needed six, and they might have gotten six and a quarter. As you can see by the nose, it was enough. First down, setting up over the middle. Adams inside the 10. And across the strike, touchdown New Orleans. Almost an instant replay of the first touchdown to Lee Morris of the day. He sees the two wide safeties, and again, we've got Lee Morris, and, Lee Morris excuse me, running right down the field. Ready, set. Straight drop there you back go. out there of the backfield to White. Big hit at the 48, stays on his feet, but not nearly enough for a first down. Safety blitz. Finds a way to beat it. Across the 50 and out of the 40-yard line. Pocket. That time, little escapability. Now to the ground game. And now Wes Hills is over 100 yards. And inside the 20. Stiff arm to finish. Get Wes Hills the ball here on the right side. Wes Hills, 21st carry. Gets him inside the one. That's where you had to get for the first down. I want to make sure here. We're looking feet first. I want to make sure that the knees are up. And I want to see what breaks, we, what hits the ground first. We have a shot right down the goal line that actually shows that the ball breaks the plane before the left knee gets to the ground. Tough spot to see, but we're going to reverse this to a touchdown. You got it. After review, the ball broke the plane of the goal line before the runner was down. Touchdown. Ready, set. Setting up the screen, so White's pretty good room to go across the 40. First down out across the 45-yard line. They Schneider for New Orleans. Set. Magoo got to get rid of it. Find some extra time, directing traffic way downfield. What a catch! Davion Davis! Ready, set! Rolling, firing, scoring! Davion Davis, touchdown Birmingham! There, oftentimes, these bunch sets are really hard to defend. You got three guys in a really, really close area. Davion Davis starts inside on the bunch. Long way to go, just lets it go down the sideline. Incomplete, late flag did come in. Two flags come raining in. And what do I know? I say it all he wants. 
Third down five. Off his back foot. Sage Surratt. Great catch to the 15 yard line. You know, a gun run to the left. There it is. Wes Hills. Third touchdown of the afternoon. Difference in the offense this year and the offense last year that fell to this Birmingham Stallions team three times. When you get late in these fourth quarters and you can lean on your running back and go down the field, it'll be a little more simple coverage. A blitz, all three timeouts left, and that's how the breakers started off with some pressure and a sack. Ready, set. Again, the rush is four. And again, he goes down. Second sack on this series, this time from Henri St. Amour. For the next time they play, and probably the third time. Hills room to go, and now sprinting into the back end, inside the 30-yard line, the exclamation point. Out the final 30 seconds of the game. Not a better formation in football. Victory formation, McLeod Bethel-Thompson takes a knee.